So hey there everybody, as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich and I'm the channel host and normally we're talking about building our drone businesses and uh, a lot to do with drones as well. So we talk about the actual physical drones, um, the different stuff that we're utilizing for our drone work. We talk about software, we talk about hardware like the computer that I'm using here and the microphone and all these things. So we cover a lot of different topics that are relevant to uh, drone operators. And one of the big topics over the past couple weeks has to be the entire Adobe fiasco. So the Adobe uh, terms of use that came out several weeks ago, and uh, also the fact that Adobe is now being looked at by the Federal, Federal Trade Commission on their uh, practices for their subscriptions and getting out of the subscriptions. Now, Adobe has been kind of the go-to for, well, oh, it's been a couple of decades. Um, my first uh, copy of Adobe, uh, of some Adobe software, was all the way back in tw uh, 2002. So it's been quite a while. I was using Illustrator and other tools from Adobe. And that was before the subscriptions. So it was great. You bought the, uh, you bought the software, you bought the disc. Uh, you loaded it up and it was yours. Now it's not yours anymore. You just keep paying and paying. That's one of the things that people are really unhappy about. So for drone operators, uh, you know, drones are flying cameras, whether it's um, whether it's video or stills. And um, so the drone goes out and collects some beautiful data for us or some beautiful images. It's all data to me at this point. And um, then we come back to our offices and we do our post-processing. So this is a big part of our jobs, often focuses around editing tools. So I wanted to take a quick look. We are doing a new series here. We're gonna learn things together. So this isn't scripted and it'll never be scripted. It's gonna be us going through this together. So you'll see me make mistakes. You'll see me hunt around for things, but um, I think it's you know a much more honest presentation. Uh, otherwise, it just looks like, hey, Rich is really good at all this editing. Um, you know, if we if we do it scripted and we do a lot of stuff before the final recording. So I'd rather learn together, and I hope that you'd rather learn together, too. Now, what I've got today, this is a quick one. I just wanted to show you, you know, um, a lot of people are utilizing Adobe Photoshop in our business. Um, some of them are using Adobe Premiere for video editing. I, I've never used that, fortunately, because I, instead I bought Final Cut Pro, one-time payment, and I've owned it forever. Now, what I got up on screen here for you is Affinity Photo. I wanted to show you um, that it's not going to be that hard of a learning curve for you. If you are leaving Adobe and you're leaving Adobe Photoshop and maybe you're doing Affinity Photo, um, I want you to see really quickly, hey, this is pretty similar. So right now we're looking at the Affinity Photo 2 screen. We've got one of my drone images up and I have a uh, an Affinity uh, icon here. Um, that I put on a second layer just so we know what we're working on. I'm going to go ahead and love this. One of the features with my Apple is that I can just swap screens so easily. Now, I am in the Photoshop window here, um, Photoshop 2024. And so I drag the same image in and then I put the Photoshop icon in here so we know which one is which. And looking over on the side panel here, a lot of these tools are also in Affinity Photo. Uh, a lot of the tools that go up on the file menus are also available in Affinity Photo. The big thing with Affinity Photo is maybe they moved some things around on us. Maybe the names of some of the tools have changed just a little bit. And so the, the deal is you're going to need to go through this, um, see what you're familiar with if you're already a Photoshop user. And what you're not familiar with, those are the things that you want to go through and play with. So left-hand side, we've got a bunch of tools. Up on the top bar, we've got our file, edit, image, layer, all the different tools for us as well. And then on the menu bar here, um, depending on which, uh, which tools you're in, you will get different icons in here um, to do additional work. And uh, over on the right-hand side, um, we've got a set of palettes here. So right now on the color palettes, we could go to the swatches, gradients. Um, we have a lot of tools in here. You can pull these out. You can drag other tools in. If you go up, um, let me see here. If we go to, uh, our windows, we can arrange the workspace so we can move some of our tools and palettes around. Now, if I go to affinity photo, 
we've got a similar thing. So there's the affinity symbol so that we know, hey, we're looking at the right one. And over on the left-hand side, all those tools, just like Photoshop, or not exactly like Photoshop, because they've got some new tools up on the toolbar. Right now, we're in the photo persona, okay? Uh, they have several personas here. Uh, they've got a liquify persona. I don't really liquify stuff. Develop, uh, develop persona. So if you're working in raw files, um, you know, DNG files, you can you know, go into the develop persona for additional tools there. They also have a tone mapping persona as well. So doing HDR and HDR like images. So that's all about the tone mapping. And then they've got a new export persona. That one's a little newer to me. And I'm not in Affinity Photo all the time, but there's a bunch of tools there. And once again, over on the right hand side, we've got these different palettes. So we've got the histogram and color. Down below, I dragged my characters down here. So if I'm adding fonts to things, um, I wanted the characters there. But see, I can take these up because I just realized that me, I'm the video of me on here is blocking the lower right hand corner. My apologies for that. Um, but now that shouldn't be blocking. So I can add these different palettes. I can, uh, you know, take a couple more if we go to window. Um, these are some of the things that we can actually put over in here and we can move these tool areas as well. Now, if I'm going back here, I'm just going to drag this down because some of the stuff was hidden. So there we go. Um, typography is one that I'm going to want. Language, uh, you know, that's going to be English, but we could actually hide that as well. Um, we don't need that out there. Let me see. And okay, no language here, so I'll have to find that later. Like I said, we're learning together, and you saw my actual image run over and across the screen as I'm playing with these. But so we don't need to use all of these. Maybe you'd like a cleaner workspace, and uh, you can clean that up very nicely. So, Taking a look at Photoshop and taking a look at Affinity Photo, it looks like we've got a lot of similar tools that we can work with. And so, like I said way before, um, the learning curve won't be as bad. And you're going to find a couple things, you know, like that um, tone mapping persona. That's something really different from what Adobe offers. So Affinity Photo does have some tools that Photoshop doesn't, and Photoshop has some tools that Affinity Photo doesn't have. So it's going to be a bit of a, uh, a learning curve. So on our next video that we get into, we're actually going to play around in Affinity Photo only. We won't look at Photoshop anymore. And we're just going to do you know, some simple adjustments to an image. And we're going to take a look at some of the tools on the left-hand side. And we're going to take a look at some of the tools on the right-hand side too. Because one of the things that we're going to do playing around with the next image is make a cool little thumbnail for our video that goes on YouTube, OK? So there you go. And by the way, um, just so you know, we also do have a Patreon channel. The link is down below. And some of these videos are going to be coming out early on our Patreon channel, and they'll be coming out later on our YouTube channel. So if you'd like to be up to the minute when we do a new video um, on Affinity Photo and making the transition from uh, Adobe, um, you might want to check out our uh, our Patreon channel. And we do have a ton of videos from Zoom conference meetings, so you can go back through all of those as well. All right, everybody, I'm going to hop off this one because it is time, and we'll see you in the next video.